Hey folks, and welcome to the Battle of the Brewers. I'm your host, Ross Richards. Today, we'll be putting four home brewers head to head in a competition of brewing. Three elimination rounds. Your first round is gonna be a very traditional type of beer. Round two is gonna be a seasonal or specialty beer. And for round three, we're gonna throw a real curveball at you. So good luck with that. For your first challenge, we go to Gary Brown, owner and operator of Brown's Brewing. Okay, brewers, today your challenge is to brew a traditional ale using two-row malt. Today I'm brewing a molasses milk stout. It's gonna come in about five and a half, six percent alcohol. So today I'm brewing a simple pale ale with all El Dorado hops. So Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about your beer? Well, I've got a molasses milk stout here. So judges, what do we think? Sandy? It's got a good maltiness. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Very low alpha acid hot. And I put a large quantity of it in the mash. I believe it is a single malt, single hop beer. So it's a smash, as Ross just said. Very aromatic, um, very citrusy. Uh, I think you did a very good job. Okay, brewers, your next challenge is to come up with a seasonal brew that can be enjoyed around the fire on a nice, cold winter night. Today I'm making a scuttlebutt, which is a dark American lager. I've never done this before. I've never used hops in the mash. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa. It's a constant learning process to prevent tragedy and get the brew to actually complete. So today I'm going to brew a coconut vanilla porter, and we'll see what the judges think. It's a good dessert beer, Will. It is like a mountain bar on crack. Oh. I, uh, I disagree. It's not very flattering, but thank you. And your final challenge is to brew without using hops. Good luck with that. <laughs> the last round and the judges threw us a curve. You might have been a little bit upset about the whole curveball they threw you. For my bittering, I wanted to use wormwood. The bitter is a little unusual too, I think, but that's was part of the challenge. There's, there's no finer example of just creativity and that is what the home brewer is, a creator.